Okay, so I'm um, very pleased to then to turn it over to Caitlin, um, who will get us started with some important information about orientation. Is everyone able to see my slides here? Yeah, looking great. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks so much, Laura, and thank you all for joining us this morning. Um, I do recognize some names in um, the participant uh, list here, so I think some of you may have been joining us for our Here For You orientation session, which is great. Um, we are super excited to welcome you to the Fanshawe family in January. Um, like Laura mentioned, I'm the Campus Life Facilitator here at Fanshawe, so I work mainly on transition programming for orientation orientation day itself, as well as the co-curricular record program. So you'll probably see lots of me in the next um, couple months. Um, and if you do see me on the, in the hallway or you do see me on orientation day, please feel free to come and say hi. Um, so I'm just gonna go over a couple of things that are important to do before orientation day to make sure that you're prepared and some things that you can be doing already from home. Um, and then we'll get into the orientation day itself. Uh, so the first thing is your fan card. Uh, so if you haven't done so already, please, please, please uh, take some time in the next couple of weeks to upload your uh, photo for your fan card. Um, so if you go to the My Photo site, um, there is instructions on uh, how do you can do, um, how you can upload your photo. And then once it's approved, um, you'll get an uh, email confirmation and you can come pick it up anytime once you arrive in Canada. Um, and you can just pop into the office here. Uh, or you can just come on orientation day itself if you're not arriving early. But again, this is something that usually takes, um, it, it can get really busy during the first week of classes. So I encourage you to just upload your photo now and have it all ready to go uh, for orientation. Um, your fan card is not only your student card, but it's also your bus pass. So it, 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 you can use it for transportation around the city. Um, so again, very important to do this step uh, before classes begin. Um, the next thing is textbooks and course materials. So if, you if you've been following us on social media, they have uh, posted, but textbook lists are now available. Um, so if you go onto Fanshawe Retail website, um, you can uh, click on the left-hand side. And I, can, I can show you a tutorial after my quick presentation. But on the left-hand side, you actually log in with your Fanshawe credentials and it'll have a customized textbook and course materials list. Uh, so you can order everything now and then come pick it up uh, once you arrive in Canada or um, if you already are here in London, you can come into the store Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and pick up your course materials. Um, sometimes the, the lines around the first week of classes are up to two hours to go in the store. Um, so again, this is something that you can, you know, pre-order from home and just choose to pick up and they can have it all ready for you. And it's really easy to do ahead of time. Um, class schedule. So I'm sure you're all anxiously awaiting your class schedule for the winter term so you can kind of organize your life. Um, so these class schedules will be available on Monday through WebAdvisor. Um, so again, if you have any questions about your class schedule, um, you'll have to contact your specific program area. Um, and again, all your course information and your any communications from your instructors, you probably won't see until the end of December, but you'll be able to at least see your class schedule on um, Monday. So now I'm just going to get into orientation day. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you're booking off um, Tuesday, January 3rd. Um, this is your orientation day. Um, so there's no classes this day. All you're responsible for attending is your program specific orientation and other social programming and uh, orientation sessions that are happening through the day. Your first official day of classes will be Wednesday, January 4th. And this is also, uh, so you're going to be following your Wednesday class schedule. So you don't start from the beginning and you don't attend Monday classes on Wednesday. You just start Wednesday for, with your Wednesday schedule. So again, no classes on Tuesday. Um, it's just orientation information. Um, so I'm just going to go over some orientation sessions that are happening. Uh, so like I mentioned, um, I see some of you may, uh, I have familiar names in the chat here. Um, so some of you may have already been attending, but this week we held a winter orientation series uh, for all the student services. So we had, you know, the wellness center, uh, a session on fan cards, retail services, um, entrepreneurial employment services, career co-op. We had lots of different sessions happening throughout the week. Um, if you if you weren't able to attend, we did record all the sessions. So you can just email orientation at fanshawc.ca. I'll pop it in the chat here and I can send you a, a link with all the recordings for all the sessions. Um, and this is for all the student services at Fanshawe. So they're really, really great sessions. 
Um, we're, we are going to be hosting uh, weekly Ask Me Anything sessions. So again, this is just a great session to pop into if you have a quick question. Um, and it's a great way to connect with other students as well. Um, so we're having uh, two more in the month of December, and then we'll have one right before classes start. So there is a holiday closure. Um, December 23rd through uh, Monday, January 2nd. So if there's something urgent that you think of over that, that holiday closure, you can always send an email to orientation at fanshawc.ca or join us for the Ask Me Anything session um, on Monday, January 2nd, and we can get those last minute questions answered for you. Um, there's a link here too for the registration and we'll be sending out a couple more email communications for, for, for these sessions. So then orientation day itself. So the program orientation schedule is now available. Uh, we will be sending out um, uh, the first orientation email um, today, actually. So keep an eye on your emails this afternoon. You'll get the first save the date um, orientation email. Um, so yeah, the program orientation uh, schedule is now available. So you can kind of carve out uh, what time that will be on January 3rd. Um, and then we're also going to be hosting um, Fanshawe online orientations. So Fanshawe Online is the learning management system that we use here at the college. Um, so it is a little bit difficult to navigate for the first time and that's okay. Um, but I do encourage you to attend one of those orientation sessions so that you're able to kind of understand how FLL works. Um, if you are in a co-op program um, in January, our Career and Co-op ser uh, Services is hosting their own orientation on uh, orientation day as well. There's a virtual and on-campus on option for this, and that's happening at 4 p.m. on orientation day. Um, and again, I have the link here to register for that. And then um, I'm sure, I don't know if any of you are in a part-time program, um, but if you are a part-time student, um, we are having an orientation for you. Um, and now all the fun stuff. So our Fanshawe Student Union and the college you know, work together to create some fun programming for students to begin their studies. Uh, so I won't say too, too much. Um, so I want it to be exciting for you guys. And it is a bit of a surprise, but uh, we are planning to have an ice rink and do lots of winter activities for orientation day. Um, so again, this will be happening on the Merlin Field at London campus. And then we'll also have all the student services as well as more care. So um, I know most of you international students, you have lots of questions about your health insurance. So more care will be um, on campus on orientation day to answer all the questions that you might have. Um, so again, lots of important information sessions, but also some fun too, and an opportunity to, to connect with other students on orientation day. So make sure that you register for the sessions. Um, and then this slide here, I always just recommend students take, you know, a screenshot of it or just take a photo of it on your phone over the next few weeks. And even like during your first couple weeks of classes, you're going to meet so many people and, you know, you might have some questions and that's totally okay, but you don't know who to exactly who to turn to to get some help. So this is a great summary of who, who can help and provide guidance. Um, so your academic advisor. So every student, in every program has an academic advisor. So these are a great first, these people are a great first point of contact. If you have any academic concerns or questions, um, it's really good to know who your academic advisor is and build a good relationship with them. Um, your professors, so again, you'll get to know them um, in your first week of classes. They'll probably do an introduction on FOL um, at the end of December. Um, so they're great for any course or content related questions. Uh, your program coordinator, this is who you'll meet on your um, orientation day. Uh, they can be helpful if you have any issues related to your program or progression in your program. Uh, peer tutoring. So this is a service through our library learning commons. Um, so peer tutoring is a service that's free to students and it's course based help from a student who has been successful in that subject area. So if you need a little bit of extra assistance in one of your subject areas that might not be your strong suit, I highly suggest connecting with the peer tutoring service. It's free and it's a great way um, to, you know, brush up on those skills that you might be lacking. Um, our Library Learning Commons and Learning Center, um, there's staff there that have drop-in and appointment-based help for math, writing, study skills, and science. So again, um, another great support for your learning. Um, our Career and Co-op Services, they can help with any employment-related questions and help you find a job or a co-op placement. So every student in a co-op program has a specific co-op consultant, and every school is also assigned a career uh, consultant as well. Uh, so if you're looking for part-time work in the city or you want to, you know, um, get like a review on your resume or need some help with um, interview strategies, um, please, please, please um, visit our co-op and career office. 
um, counseling and accessibility. Um, they can help with any accessibility counseling or personal counseling. Um, so if you do have um, a, a documented disability, I do encourage you to uh, sign up with Early ID and get your um, academic accommodation set up before classes. But even if you haven't ar arrived yet, um, we can still um, help you and accommodate you through our accessibility office. Our international center, again, um, great people that will probably help you with or can help you with your transition to Canada, as well as studying and working here. So if you have questions about applying for a co-op work permit or you need an extension on your study visa, um, the international center can help you. And then the office of the registrar. So they can help with any records, if you need transcripts, uh, if you have any general inquiries or payment um, questions, uh, those will be all through the office of the registrar. And that's it for me for today. I know that was lots of information um, and I, can, I, I will send a copy of this presentation to Laura to send to you all. Um, so if you have any questions, you can email me directly at crichie at fanshawe.ca or um, orientation at fanshawe.ca if you have any questions. Um, also that email, the orientation email will be monitored through the holiday closure. So if there's anything that you think of and you, you know, you, you're getting a little bit nervous um, before classes start, feel free to send an uh, email to that uh, orientation and um, I will provide some assistance over the holiday closure as well. And that's everything. I will look in the chat here if there are any questions. I see Laura was able to answer some. Um, yeah, there was just one question about the location of orientation. Um, so Egress is asking if orientation will be at the main campus or at uh, another campus. So London South or downtown. Yeah, so students are encouraged to attend their their uh, own campus on orientation day for their program orientation. So if you're a London South student, you'll be going to London South for your program orientation. London downtown, same thing. Um, all students are welcome to be joining us at the main campus for the ice rink and all the social programming that the FSU has planned. And we also are doing um, some other events throughout the week at all the different area ca campuses. So if you aren't able to make it to main campus on orientation day, don't worry. Um, we haven't forgot about you. We will be coming to your campus too to do some fun events. Um, but again, I will put the, the orientation page has been updated um, to you, for you to get a schedule and uh, register for all the different events. Uh, Laura, were you able to, I saw a question here about how to find your academic advisor. Um, I'm going to put that link in here too, so that you're able to find them. Just give me one second. And uh, Sanaz, uh, graphic design is held on our main campus, the Oxford Street campus of Fanshawe. So if you are wondering about where your program is going to be uh, delivered, you can always look on your letter of admission. It will be there. It will also be on WebAdvisor. Or if you look up your program, pay program, um, program page on the Fanshawe College website, it will also be there. However, some programs are delivered at multiple campuses, so letter of admission is probably your best bet. Um, if you do have questions, of course, you're welcome to email either the Office of the Registrar or the International Center, and we are happy to do, uh, confirm that for you. Great. Thanks so much, Laura. Um, I do see another question here about fan card. So um, if you have arrived in Canada, you can come and pick up your fan card um, if your photo has been approved. So again, you need to upload your photo uh, ahead of time before coming to pick your card up. Um, however, the bus pass won't start um, until January. And I will put the link in here for fan cards as well. I put the um, link for um, the program orientation schedule in the chat too, so you can look up when your um, program orientation is and all the other sessions. Um, but, but again, we are sending out the first uh, orientation specific email this afternoon. So keep an eye on your email and they'll have lots of information, all the information I just talked about summarized. Yeah, this next month will be the key time for making sure you're staying on top of your emails. So lots of really great information coming through to all of you um, to get you settled and get you started. Oh, and I see one last, I'll do one more question here about laptop requirements. Um, I will put a link in here where you can uh, have, it, there's all the laptop specs on here. Um, and if you have any more specific questions about your laptops that aren't on this website specifically, you can wait until your program orientation and connect with your coordinator. But um, any high level laptop requirements will just be on that link there.
And I'll just put the orientation email in here again. So if there's anything that you think of after this session, um, yeah, feel free to send that uh, orientation email and I'll get back to you guys. Wonderful. Okay, do we have any final questions? Uh, Moose is asking for registration about orientation and that will all be found on the website or in the emails? Uh, the email and the website. So you do not need to register for your program orientation. Any additional sessions, we encourage registration because that's how we share um, the virtual links. Um, so most of the uh, or all the registration is done through Eventbrite. But again, your program orientation, no registration required. You just show up. Um, but the other like social programming and um, the other additional sessions like the fan, uh, Fanshawe online orientation or career and co-op orientation, we do require reg or we do um, prefer registration. All right. Um, so we do have a few kind of individual questions that are uh, based on personal situations. So what I would say on that is if you want to email Fanshawe Cares at FanshaweC.ca, um, we're happy to look into any questions about uh, international student forms, any questions about your arrival in the shuttle service. Um, please send those all on through to Fanshawe Cares at FanshaweC.ca. Um, and I'd be happy to respond to those questions um, today. So uh, send those right on through and uh, I will get back to you right away. Um, but before uh, we let Caitlin go, do we have any final questions for her? I do see one question here about healthcare administration management. I believe you're a London South Campus student. Um, so your um, academic advisor is Jennifer Carter. So she does all the programs out of London South Campus. So I have put her contact information here in the chat. That's why I see someone wasn't able to find their academic advisor, but I just put that information in the chat here. Yeah, any last questions? Perfect. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Caitlin, and I'm sure that everyone will be seeing a lot more of Caitlin in the weeks <laughs> to come. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day and excited to see you all in January. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we'll move on now to the second portion of our session today, um, which is to share some information with you about Fanshawe Friends. So I do have a few panelists that are here joining us uh, from Fanshawe Friends. So if those people would like to uh, turn on their cameras now, It'd be nice to see everyone. Good morning. All right, and Michaela's here. Looks like Michaela's on the go this morning. Claudia. Danaz, perfect. Lauren, wow, look at this. We've got lots of Fanshawe friends here. Good morning, Grace is here, awesome. Okay, so it's wonderful to see so many people coming out from our Fanshawe friends group. And I, I think this really speaks to the fact that uh, we're a really committed group who is uh, there for each other and uh, shows up to different events and to, to promote our program. Um, I think it's something that we're all really excited about, and really proud of. So um, I am happy to get started and share a little bit of information about the program, um, just to get you all aware of what Fanshawe Friends is all about. So I am sharing my screen now. Uh, hopefully everyone can see that okay. Yeah, looking good. Okay, wonderful. So Fanshawe Friends, what is this program and what's it all, all about? So it's truly designed to uh, embrace our international student community and help you all to get social at Fanshawe College. So let's talk about international students at Fanshawe. It, we have 6,500 uh, international students hailing from 100 different countries around the world. So what does that mean? It means that we have a very diverse um, multicultural community and it's very rich. Uh, people have lots of different experiences. So there's lots of information um, and good cultural benefits to share from having a very diverse community. 
Um, so in my time working with international students, I found a lot of commonalities and things that make international students really special. Uh, so you're all risk takers. You've all chosen to um, embrace a new life here. You're coming to Canada. You're uh, going outside of your comfort zone and taking on a new challenge by attending school abroad. Um, I found that international students are always really committed. They are problem solvers. They're disciplined, creative, um, and just really generally friendly and wonderful people. So uh, I guess I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for attending this session and and for joining our community uh, here at Fanshawe. So um, just want to kind of give you all a pat on the back for the special qualities that you all possess. Um, now, in coming to Canada, we do know that there will be challenges for you. Uh, we tend to find that a lot of new students may experience culture shock as they settle into life in Canada. Um, people may experience homesickness, particularly uh, with wide uh, time zone issues. Maybe it's the middle of the night uh, during the day for you, for your family. So. Uh, we know time zone issues can often uh, create communication barriers. Uh, we know that getting settled can be tough. We run a lot of different sessions over the past uh, 10 days to help you uh, get information that'll help make settlement as easy as possible. Um, but we know finding housing can be a challenge, employment can be challenging. Uh, we also know that staying active, making new friends, and networking can also be difficult for new students who are just arriving in Canada. Um, so you're here, but what do you do now? How do you meet people? Uh, and our solution for that is Fanshawe Friends. <laughs> so this program has been designed with the goal of connecting uh, new international students with senior students. And uh, the program is designed to help introduce you to college life, uh, to connect you with services and events. Um, you will meet with other students who may be able to share what they've learned about Canadian culture. Uh, we have a helpful community that will provide support with day-to-day -day questions, like um, if you have questions about shopping in Canada or uh, where to buy your books. Those are all things that you can share in our group chat and uh, students, senior students are always happy to help out. Uh, most importantly, I think is our group of events. So we do hold group events throughout the term that are quite popular. Um, it'll help you to experience the London community a little bit better um, and help you to get to know other people while you're experiencing these events. Uh, and finally, the group is really beneficial because we all support and celebrate each other's success. So I think that's a really uh, important uh, part of this program because it helps you to build a network of peers uh, who are there for you and who can support you if you have questions or, uh, you know, just to share a nice message throughout the day. So um we are as i said just like the fanjaw population we're quite a diverse group um in the winter uh, fall 2022 term we had 225 members in fanjaw friends who signed up um and they hail from 35 plus different countries around the world so every single year we find the diversity grows within our community and that certainly just uh, makes it a much more rich place to be um, as we all learn and grow from our interactions with each other. So why is Fanshawe Friends important? So this group is helpful because it helps students to build their network and develop a sense of community at Fanshawe. So when you arrive at the college, again, you may not know a lot of people um, as you get started in your program. Uh, you may sort of talk with your classmates sort of exclusively about program content. But the benefit of Fanshawe Friends is that you are engaging with students from all different programs from all around the world. So it really helps you to expand and diversify your peer network at the college. Um, it allows students to in, uh, the opportunity to engage in events that offer a Canadian cultural experience. 
and a chance to explore your community. So uh, in the next few slides, I'll show you some pictures of the different things that our Fanshawe Friends group has been up to, but um, it's certainly a great opportunity to get outside of the London area. Um, we do participate in some field trips throughout the term um, and just kind of get together at different locations across the city. So a uh, really great opportunity to explore your community and go to locations that you may have otherwise not considered going to. Um, again, it's a supportive environment that allows you to have your questions answered. Um, so we do, as I mentioned, have a WhatsApp group, um, and that's a really great opportunity. If students do have questions, you can throw your question in the chat and other students will respond uh, with their advice or information about what they know about the London community or about Fanshawe. Um, and finally, it enables students to develop a global outlook through cross-cultural connections. So what this means is uh, it's sort of related to your settlement here in Canada. So Canada is a very diverse uh, country and your classmates, your uh, work colleagues as you uh, go into the workforce, they're all going to be, it's going to be quite a diverse uh, community of people that you'll be working with and studying with and living near. So uh, having the opportunity to connect with people from around the world will really help increase your communication skills and will be beneficial to you as you enter the workforce. Um, so Fanshawe Friends events, so we do have, a, we've sort of moved a little bit further away from online sessions, um, but we do host online information sessions and workshops throughout the term. Um, kind of our primary uh, form of communication, as I mentioned, is our WhatsApp group chat, um, but we also have uh, regular emails as well that'll go out to students just to make sure that they're aware of the different events and activities that are going on throughout the year or throughout the term. Uh, so let's get into some of the activities that we've been uh, getting into throughout the term. So typically at least once a term, we'll get together to enjoy some sports at the wellness center. Um, here's some photos of a pickleball event that we had. We had some students playing badminton last term. Um, so really great op opportunity to get active and get out uh, enjoying Fanshawe College's spaces with other students. Uh, we do participate in group hikes every single term. So we do try at least once a, once a term to get out uh, in our beautiful uh, outdoor spaces. There are quite a few of environmentally significant areas in London, and we partner with uh, the Thames Valley Trail Association, which is a local hiking group here in London uh, to engage in hikes. So we have a couple of pictures from a fall hike. And then moving on, we have a winter hike here that just happened a few weeks ago. And of course, our beautiful spring hike. So getting out in nature, it's a really great time to uh, honor and enjoy the beautiful weather in Canada. And I know that you know, some may be a little bit apprehensive about the weather, but I'm sure that you will all really come to love uh, the four seasons of Canada. Moving on to a few other events, uh, we participate in some social gatherings, so getting together both off campus and on campus. So here's some photos from um, an event we held at the Outback Shack. Um, we have sometimes have the opportunity to participate in some citywide events. So here's some photos of students at a London Knights hockey game that we attended. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that, that will continue to happen throughout, uh, the next few terms. Uh, here's a picture of our group, uh, enjoying a Canadian cultural experience. We attended a maple syrup farm to learn how maple syrup was made. Um, and it was a cold day for those who were in it. I don't know if any of our panelists were at that event, but it was quite a chilly day, but everybody, um, bundled up and, and really enjoyed their experience there. Again, just on-campus events, 
Um, typically, if there's something that's being hosted by the FSU, uh, the Fanshawe Friends Group will sometimes participate in those events together. And again, it's a nice opportunity because by having other students that are going to these events, it's, it's sort of nice to have that network of students that you know um, you'll have a group to sort of be around and be with uh, during these various events. Uh, again, uh, one of our goals for the next little while will be to increase our uh, participation in London community events. Um, so this was an outdoor movie night that we attended, um, but even coming up next weekend, or this coming Sunday, we're going to be attending another city event where we're visiting um, the Lennon City Hall Observation Deck to view all of the Christmas lights at Victoria Park. So again, it's just another opportunity that as a group, we'll get together and enjoy these, uh, the various things that the city has to offer. Um, Getting outside of our comfort zone, we have some photos here of a Grand Bend beach trip. So this is a local beach, um, just about an hour away from London. But again, just getting outside of the London community and exploring um, our neighboring uh, counties is a nice uh, benefit of the Fanshawe Friends group. And another fall activity here, we participated in some apple picking. So again, you're sort of getting the theme of how things are going here. We uh, we really just try to embrace our, our local community and all that it has to offer. So before we move on to our panelists, we'll talk a little bit about what some other students have said about Fanshawe Friends. Um, so the program is an opportunity for students to share their opinions and thoughts with each other. Um, activities allow students to feel like they're really enjoying Canadian culture, which is, uh, you know, I know a goal for all of our students who are on the call today is to really, you know, not just come and study, but really make the most of your post-secondary experience and your transition to life in Canada um, by, ex by exploring and enjoying these opportunities as a group. Um, we've had students say that they've met new and amazing people that are fast becoming like family. So it's nice to have this connection um, to a community that you can go to if you do have any questions. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great resource and point of contact. And finally, um, from a more personal note, we have a student who said that it's helped them to open up and talk with different people and different uh, from different cultures. So again, developing that sense of a global outlook and cross-cultural communication skills is certainly one of the goals of our program um, because it will help you to come out of your shell. If you're a more introverted person, you'll have the opportunity to connect with different people throughout the course of the term. Uh, so if the information you've sh we've shared this morning sounds, uh, sounds interesting to you, we certainly encourage you and welcome you to join us. Um, all students are welcome. So again, we have new students and senior students. Um, large age range, everyone's welcome. Uh, we have students with families, single students, um, just the whole spectrum of people, everyone is, is certainly uh, invited to join us. Um, there is an application that's available. So um, I've included the link here, but I'm also going to provide um, a QR code in the next slide. Um, and if you are looking for information about the program, you're always welcome to email me. My name is Laura, um, and you can email ltaren at fanshawc.ca. So moving along here, um, we have one of our Fanshawe Friends groups and, and Jack's here in the, in the yellow, who's also here joining us at the session. Uh, so if you'd like to scan this QR code, uh, that will send you into the application. Uh, so what we do is once we receive all of the applications, we'll be pairing up Fanshawe Friends into small groups. Um, and you'll be connected uh, with that group on a kind of an individual WhatsApp chat. Um, and then every single person will also be invited into a larger group chat, which includes all members. 
Um, and in that chat is a place where we would, um, you know, share any information, questions, uh, people celebrating their successes. I always love the first snow of the year. It's always a really great day in the Fanshawe Friends group chat as everyone shares uh, their experience with the first few snowflakes. So um, really wonderful and supportive um, place to just have a, a nice soft landing spot. Um, so we will open it up now to our uh, Fanshawe Friends group. So I'm just going to kind of go around um, and we'll have everybody just quickly introduce themselves and their program. And if you just want to share uh, one thing that you found really helpful about Fanshawe Friends, or if you have a comment about uh, getting settled or advice for our new students, uh, it would be wonderful if we could share that information now. So um, I, I'm not sure if someone wants to start, whoever would like to of my Fanshawe friends here. Jack will go first. Wonderful. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, so I am Jerica, but everyone calls me Jack. I am an incoming um, level three business accounting co-op student. So currently I'm on my last term of co-op. And being in a French of friends since fall of 2021 has been like amazing. Like the first few terms or events, I wasn't able to really participate in. But eventually when my schedule was losing up, especially now I'm on my co-op, I was able to join a lot of events. So for the summer, I was able to join for the Grand Bend trip for the recent hiking. So now I'm also trying to go in for this weekend if my work schedule permits. But the WhatsApp group and everyone in Fancho Friends has been really amazing. It is something that you look forward to in meeting new people. As an introverted uh, type of person, it's really hard to communicate um, with people or try to get the same vibes. But my pod recently, it's just amazing because we love travel. We just, the first time we, we met, it was a very instant connection. We, we were like talking nonstop. Everyone's laughing, having a good time. So the only thing that has been a real struggle for us to connect more is just our schedules because everyone is uh, trying to fit in a free time to just connect with everyone. But you can still connect with them through the WhatsApp group. So it's just been amazing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it, it is nice because sometimes we find, you know, we talked a little bit about that, the homesickness piece and having just that uh, point of contact right away that's, you know, in your time zone, someone you can connect with and just sending a quick message. It's, it can be helpful and make you feel a little bit uh, a little less lonely, a little more included uh, in in Canada and your in your new setting. So, um, thanks so much for sharing that experience. Um, do we have someone who would like to go next? You can go next. All right, perfect. Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren. I am from Colombia. This is my first term in healthcare administration management. So, this is my first term being a part of financial friends. Welcome to all of you to Francho. I'm pretty sure that you're going to enjoy your time here because London is an amazing city and Francho is an amazing college. Uh, I got assigned to a great pod, but since we went to all of the Francho friends events that all just grew up, now we are like a lot of people and we really enjoy to hang out together, go to downtown. Uh, we have participated in the scavenger hunts in downtown. We have won prizes like gift cards. Uh, we have enjoyed playing sports. I have learned a lot from Stephen uh, about sports. And this is really a chance to get connected to people who are like struggling with the same things that you are mm -hmm. and with some people that already have experience being here. So for example, when I got my first job, I had to do a lot of paper stuff 
and I wasn't really sure about how to do them. And some of my friends from my pod, they had been here for more time than I had, I had been. So they just provided some guidance and with a lot of stuff that maybe I'm not really sure about how to do them because still new, but they can just <clears throat> like guide you through the process. So it's a really good chance to get connected, to make new friends, to have like your, your networking, your supporter network. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Laura, for connecting us with this program. Yeah, of course. Wonderful. So thank you so much for sharing that. And it's so nice to hear sometimes you don't always know exactly what's happening in the pods because it's all your individual groups that you've been assigned to. Um, but it, I'm so happy to hear, uh, you know, really great experiences with getting connected with others. And uh, I think that ability to help out and just ask your questions because international students have to go through a lot of the same processes so having someone there that you can reach out to who can provide a bit of advice is um, such a wonderful resource so thank you so much for sharing uh who would like to go next i can go now oh okay, <laughs> okay. yeah sure okay mika would you like to go next sure hi so i'm mika and I'm actually an alumni. <laughs> I'm not even a fashion student anymore. I graduated last August and I've been in consciousness since I think the summer term. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of started playing me already though. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, being part of conscious friends, I was just invited by randomly because I posted something about uh, directions going to Fancho campus because it's a very big campus. And then one of them messaged me and be like, hey, do you want to be in this part? Um, you, you can meet, you can talk a lot. And I don't know, it was just like helping people. But then suddenly I met new friends. And I'm still friends until now. Uh, yeah, we still help new students. We, when, they, um, when they message us regarding questions or asking for accommodations, asking for new jobs, we try to give them the right direction and we try to give them activities to enjoy, especially those who are commerce. And um, yeah, being founder fans is not just helping, but also enjoying and how do I explain this? Gathering new friends, new knowledge, and overall just enjoying London itself. Not just London, you can enjoy Ontario because sometimes mm -hmm. we go out of London, which gives you more access. and. Everyone's invited, everyone's welcome. And yeah, so being part of Pancho Friends, like even if now I'm an alumni, I still love being part of Pancho Friends because nothing will change. Um, you'll always be part of them. So yeah, I hope to see you guys on our next Pancho Friends meeting. Wonderful. Thank you. And I think Mike is a really good example of someone who's really embraced the volunteer opportunities that come through Fanshawe Friends. So, um, you know, we'll often share information about how students can get involved in the community or, you know, do various outreach, op um, you know, get involved even at the college. Um, and she's always been great about embracing those opportunities. I also really like what you said about, um, you know, accommodation and employment resources. That certainly is another benefit because people will very openly share different, uh, you know, if they have know someone who has a room that's available, they might throw that in the chat and see if anyone's looking. Um, job referrals are actually quite common within the group. If, you know, someone works somewhere and knows that um, their employer is hiring. So, Again, great, great way to uh, gather resources. Uh, Stefan, did you want to go next? Yeah, sure, I'll go next. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Stefan. Uh, I'm from India, and I take composite materials and advanced aerospace manufacturing here at Fanshawe. Uh, it's at the London Airport campus. Um, and I joined Fanshawe Friends this fall. Um, so. I have my previous program at Fanshawe was completely online and like I came here in January this year and it was the winter, like it was completely online. I didn't have any like friends to meet because everyone was in different places and there was no social life, I guess. I was just at home, just editing classes and stuff. 
Um, so once the it transitioned to in-person classes, uh, I had some friends who, like, I heard over the, I overheard them talking about financial friends and stuff like that. And so I was like, what is it? And so I was like, it's a group of international students, and there's a form you got to fill out. And so I was like, okay, uh, mm -hmm. like, send me the form. And I just fill out. And I filled out the form. I ended up going to the orientation. And it was wonderful. Like, like after that, you know, I met new friends, like we made friends from different campuses. That's a great thing about financial friends is like when you're in a one campus and you you got classes like four days, five days, you rarely get chance to meet people from other campuses sometimes because of the location and the distance. So, but because of financial friends and the activities that we have, you can meet our people from other campuses, make friends over there, and then you got your own pod and you know, you guys go out to do your own activities. And I've met some of the most sweetest, wonderful people uh, in financial friends. And it, it has been amazing, like the scavenger hunts that we do, like Lauren mentioned, and the group activities that we have, uh, the hikes that we went to, it has all been wonderful. And I am looking forward to the next events in the winter that we're gonna have um and yeah welcome to all of you guys i hope to see you guys in bunch of friends and and the orientation that's going to happen soon uh it's going to be wonderful like i really suggest you sign up for it it's a good opportunity for you to network um make new friends from different cultures i really encourage you to do that it's a really global place here at fanshaw uh like laura mentioned it's a very diverse community here in london and it is very interesting to meet other people from other countries and learn about their culture. And uh, the people that I met from other countries, they have been so, so wonderful and so enthusiastic and so interesting. Like, you know, they're so um, eager to tell you about their country and their culture and food and stuff. And you know, it just like, gives you more <laughs> energy and uh, like happiness. So yeah, I really suggest you, you guys to, to join us and, you know, I hope to see you for all in London uh, uh, soon in this month, next month, you know, looking forward to it. And Laura has just been the sweetest person and I thank her for like uh, creating Financial Friends and like running it amazing and wonderful. So, yeah. Aww. Well, thank you so thank much. You. And and yeah, I think a lot of what you said, it reminds me of those qualities of international students. I always say there's like something very special about this community. And I think why a program like Fanshawe Friends works so well, because everyone's quite eager to be involved and to connect. So you know that the people who are involved in this program are also going to have that same spirit of, of collaboration and wanting to get involved. Uh, so we have two more friends to hear from, really great, uh, great experiences from all, but uh, let's move on to Claudia. Oh, thank you, Laura. Um, I'm Claudia. I have been here since um, July. Uh, my first semester was online, and but I joined um, the group since I was back in Mexico. I am both Colombian and Mexican. And Laura has been a great support since the beginning, helping me through all the things that I didn't know at that time. And since I got my match, because last year was a match, uh, it was very helpful for me because I was coming with my son, 10 years old. And I have many questions about, you know, how to make it easy for him. So Laura really matched me with a person that was having the same situation and had experience in London with this. And that was great. And this semester, I am also part of Function, and I will continue my next year too. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this group, leading by Laura, has been a great opportunity to complement all the things that you have at college because you are busy with your classes, with your classmates. But Francia Friends gives you the opportunity to have the and complement your life in London, having time to go out, having time for a gathering. Sometimes I cannot go because I am busy with my son, or sometimes I am too uh, have too many things to do at college. But the thing is that the programs that uh, we have at Fancha Friends are very diverse. So we have sometimes the opportunity to go with our kids, the opportunity to go with our family. Sometimes Laura really encouraged us to have some Friday afternoons. This weekend is going to be on Sunday. 
Um, I think the the one for the beach in July or August was maybe during the weekend. So there are many different programs, but I think that's an opportunity for all of us to have some like a break from our studies and to have some fun with international students to know new people. During the hiking was a great hiking. It was on Saturday. We met a lot of people from even from Colombia that I didn't know they were at, at the college. People from India, from Mexico, from many different parts. And we have a great opportunity to, to enjoy London in a different way because we are going to be here, of course, focus on our studies, focus on our jobs, but there is an opportunity to have like a, a, a different space. Mm -hmm. And during this time, it has been great experience also because people from the group are very, very open to help, very, you know, giver persons. I have a situation I didn't know how to uh, to make an appointment for more care. So somebody gave me the information. I have a dentist situation. Somebody gave me the information. I have a school situation. I didn't know what to do. Somebody sent me information. So we are all the time giving information and it's an open space when you can ask anything. Mm -hmm. Like uh, where, where to go for a walk, where to go for a sport, where to go for shopping, where I can find some gloves, where can anything. So. Mm -hmm. Even though I couldn't participate at the beginning, I was feeling the support of mm -hmm. being part of member of a group. So thank you very much, Laura. I think guys, the newcomers, you are welcome to enjoy the group. We are here to help you and to support and to learn from you too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And, and Claudia has a, a really nice son, Mateo, who often, he's like an honorary Fanshawe friend. I always love when Mateo comes out to our events. So uh, always nice to include our family members. And I think that there is a really important piece here that Claudia has um, brought up and that's honoring the two parts of studying abroad. So of course your first priority will be to study, but you're also experiencing a new life in a new country. And it's important to not just lock yourself into uh, a cycle of only working and only doing school. You need to take advantage of campus life and student life as much as you can, because it'll really um, enrich your overall experience. So um, thank you so much for pointing that out. And last but not least, Mansi. Hi, everybody. My, I'm Mansi. And I'm from India. I, it's my first semester at Healthcare Administration Management at Pancha here. And it's been a couple months since I've been a part of Pancha Friends, and I have loved the entire experience of it. It's a very nice platform to make really genuine one on one connections in a new country where you don't know anybody, you feel lost, and you have so many issues with the transport and jobs and your education in general and uh, it, it's nice to know that there are people who are facing the same issues and you can figure them out together so you don't feel that alone in a new country that's what uh, my experience would be and I have made so so many genuine friends a uh, few of my closest friends are here Stefan Lauren we guys go out we met, met each other through Fancha friends now we are really good friends and we hang out outside of Fanshawe Friends events even and I went to the Great Lakes farm with uh, the group this uh, this uh, I think it was fall and we we had a lot of fun it was really good and uh, I would really really encourage you guys to join the group so that you can have a nice college experience learn more about the city the country and make new pe uh, friends with people who are in very different stages of their lives and they come with very different cultures have very different priorities so you can learn about very a lot of different aspects of life that you would never experience any other way wonderful thank yeah. you so much for sharing that and uh yeah, I like your point about meeting people who are in all different phases of their life. That's always something that I like about our group is that, you know, we have people that have just graduated from high school. We have people that have had full careers and they're coming in, you know, pursuing additional education at Fanshawe. So, you know, there's such diversity within our group um, and the various situations of our members. So, uh, again, we really welcome everybody to come and, you know, enjoy the, the friendship that comes from, from our community connection. 
Um, so we do just have a few minutes left today, but if anyone had any questions for any of our panelists or for myself, we're happy to answer those now. I have put a link to the um, form for Fanshawe Friends in the chat. Um, so if you'd like to register for the program, you're welcome to do that. And to give you a sense of the timeline over the next few um, few weeks, I guess, as we get closer to the start of term, um, what will happen now is we receive the forms. Uh, in the first week of January, we'll begin our matching process where we will uh, connect students into a small group. So you'll receive an email from me letting you know who the other members of your pod are. Um, you can connect with those people. And then, of course, you'll also be invited to join the larger group. And we typically will have a kickoff meeting at some point in the end of January. So um, if you're interested, please do feel free to join us. I'm just going to put a few other um, pieces of information here in the chat. So if you do have questions, about uh, anything related to arrivals, getting settled, um, as we kind of wrap up the end of our 10-day session, um, I do encourage you to email Fanshawe Cares at fanshawec.ca with any questions you may have. Um, if you have specific questions for me, um, I'm always happy to hear from students. Um, so again, my name is Laura, and you're welcome to email me ltaren at fanshawc.ca. Um, but otherwise, I guess we will wrap up for the day if we don't have any additional questions. Um, just in closing, uh, for the overall Fanshawe Cares series, I really hope that you guys have um, gotten a lot out of these past 10 days. And I wanna congratulate all of you for attending all of the sessions. Um, I know Caitlin mentioned she's seen a lot of you at the orientation sessions as well. Um, so thank you for being involved and for um, listening to this information because it truly will give you a great start to your time at Fanshawe. Um, I'd like to thank all of our panelists who have uh, volunteered some of their time to join us today and who've shared really wonderful uh, information about their experiences with the Fanshawe Friends program. Um, and more importantly, the benefits that you can receive from getting involved in Fanshawe student life and really embracing this uh, student life experience. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, and with that, I will wish you all a great day and I hope you'll keep in touch and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.